Hey there, Ruth Finsway from Spanish Curriculum Powered by Sombrero Time, and I want to bring back Evelyn into a conversation as we're looking at re-entering after some shutdown time. We've been inside a lot, doing a lot of togetherness with our families, and we just want to continue to bring you resources and knowledge that can help you care and connect in the home. So we've been doing this with our staff for a whole year. Evelyn DeRuz has been joining our staff for development time, and it's been so helpful, so good, that we just wanna to continue to bring it to you. So without further ado, I wanna invite Evelyn to come talk to us about all of this wiring, all this circus circuitry that we have in our nervous system, and she's gonna help bring her psychoanalytic expertise to us to help us understand what to do with all of this as we try to mobilize these seven strategies of care and rest yes and understand how our body works with our nervous system so thank you so much for being here evelyn i super appreciate it well thank you ruth it's a joy to be with you and with whoever else is joining us uh, virtually i've been giving a lot of virtual hugs to people <laughs> even, you know, neighbors across the highway, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, you know, we really are social creatures. And when we think about our nervous system, that's a very important part of it. And we'll, we'll talk about that more. But I, I want to give my hat off to a researcher by the name of Stephen Porges. And he developed what's known as the polyvagal theory, which has to do with a very, very important and very large nerve in our nervous system called the vagus nerve. Now, one of your teachers, when I was teaching this, said, oh, well, what happens in Vegas? Sleep, you know, he stays in, in Vegas. But this is actually V-A-G-U-S. And what it means actually is wanderer. So in Spanish, vagar, what would that be? Yeah. To wander, to... I don't know if I know what that word is. Uh, well, I'm going to have to talk to my staff. Yeah, well, it's, it's Latin, my understanding is. But the vagus nerve, the 10th cranial nerve, um, begins at our brain stem and connects with all our vital organs. And there is more information coming from these vital organs up to our brain than from our brain down to these organs. Now it is bi-directional that, you know, there's communication both directions, but this information coming up from our gut, from our lungs, from our heart, um, about our blood pressure, about our temperature, about all these things that happen outside of our conscious awareness, most of them, because our body's trying to be in balance to achieve homeostasis is what we call so balance and I know many of us have been feeling out of balance in whatever way because everything is so uncertain so unknown and our nervous system wants to be at a place of balance where I, I kind of I, I you know I can handle this and I can handle that but if it goes too tilting that way I'm freezing and I'm shivering or I'm sweating and I'm dripping and I'm too hot, but, but what's, what's a happy balance here? So this vagus nerve is helping achieve that balance. And there's three primary circuits to the vagus nerve that Dr. Porges um, has given us this great information about. And I'll just tell you right now an overview of those. One is the mobilization circuit that may also be known as the parasympathetic branch of our, our nervous system. So that activates us, it gets us ready for activity. The parasympathetic branch of our nervous system is more the deactivation, the immobilization, the slowing down. And, and you know, th those, when we sleep, right? We are more on the immobilization. When we wake up, our cortisol rises and we're getting more ready to go. And, the, and so we know a lot about those circuits, but the most important circuit that Porges has given great information about is what he calls the social engagement system. 
And this is a very, very powerful system for us as so social creatures. And yes, there's a lot of study about mammals and the ways that social animals help regulate one another. And for us as humans, that's a really big part of us. And that's why the sheltering at home has been so, so challenging because our social engagement has been very, very limited. And the ways that we typically connect with one another, we don't have access to that. Even what we're doing right now by Zoom is not natural. It's two-dimensional rather than three-dimensional. It's delayed, so we're not getting as much real-time feedback that our unconscious brain is processing at very, very high speeds. And so this Zoom fatigue is very much a part of our brains trying to synchronize. Wait a minute, uh, th th this is supposed to be going faster, but I, uh, uh, uh. so it's, it's exhausting. So we're gonna go for the next three sessions into a little bit more detail about the mobilization, the immobilization, and the social engagement system. Okay, so that was a preview, friends. Stay tuned. <laughs>